is Paul. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, just looking at this marriage certificate. Yes. <laughs> It was issued on December 18th of 2000. Oh, this month we will have been married 18 years. Yes. Now, I know a lot of couples, they thought, well, we'll never make it that long, will we now? Poo -poo. <laughs> but uh, it is actually from the United Nations. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And I was there at the time of the marriage, and uh, Heidi was there. Her maiden name was Griggs. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, we were all both uh, issued identification numbers, right? And then my father's name was Paul D. Budnick. Her uh, father's name was DeWitt Griggs. And it could be that Georgia remembers uh, something about the saltpeter mines. Turns out that her biological father was, well, questionable. <laughs> he drank too much, and from what she told me about him, he could have been involved in some ooch, questionable organizations that happened to have three Ks in the name. Ouch! <laughs> then there was uh, my mother, Sandra L. Condit. She gave birth to me in Auburn, Washington. <laughs> uh, Auburn General Hospital. They might have some birth certificates that I was born in the United States of America. <laughs> yeah. And then there's her actual signature, and the way I see it, it doesn't look anything like a fucking signature. <laughs> now, for some reason, you decided that you would extend the full faith and credit of the United States to a dissolution of marriage where there's approximately $133,500 in back child support that has been paid to her pooch. And then there's this whole court. <laughs> I think I have a real lawsuit here. Yes, he does. <laughs> now, I know. I told you for the last three years that you had to give me notice of court hearings. Yes. And I would have never agreed to the dissolution of marriage because we have to dissolve it through the United Nations. Yes. So that the United Nations can't use the United States Treasury as their little pocketbook. Yes. Now, when the United Nations looks at the United States and says, oh, <laughs> You decided to dissolve a United Nations marriage certificate without any due process to the to the respondent. <laughs> After having issued protection orders where I didn't get any notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> After uh, giving my wife a default dissolution of marriage when I responded to him. Well, you gave her that emergency court hearing. You kept giving her emergency court hearings. The ex parte emergency court hearings. <laughs> I think that I can actually sue this county, every county, the state of Washington, for uh, thinking that they could extend the full faith and credit of the United States Constitution to a marriage certificate where <laughs> well, we traveled 15,000 miles. <laughs> now, see this guy. Uh, <clears throat> See, we each, there was, uh, there was a, a Zerka involved in this. Yes. <laughs> They're the ones that, Bareem Zerka, yes. Happened to be the father of Liard Zerka that went to the Port Angeles High School. Yes. <laughs> and uh, possibly went to Peninsula College and went on to get his GED and eventually <laughs> went to one of these uh, public uh, schools of higher education. Yes. Then there was John, Donald James Denham. <laughs> Don and Marty Denham, and he was the chaplain that was a senior chaplain when I was at Transport for Christ. <laughs> I know you think a lot of those in ministry, they commit these crimes of child abuse and domestic violence. <laughs> As if they meant nothing that I went through multiple missionary organizations <laughs> to get my certification to be involved in ministry. <laughs> now, they all did background checks, I'll tell you that right now. And for some reason, some reason, right 